So here's the solution. Uh, you want to go to wherever your material is. In this case, I've created here. I basically have in my content folder, a materials folder, and then this material, I've called it material test, but go here. And uh, as you can see here, I have my uh, three uh, texture samplings. I've connected them there. I have my normal base albedo, my, my normal and then my ORM. So what we need to do here is change the UV uh, values here. Uh, that's going to size or scale the size of our material. And the way we do that is by uh, going here anywhere. And you're going to want to right click and then look up texture coordinate and you can uh, press enter and you're going to get this texture coordinate node uh need a multiply uh node so you can look up multiply or uh you can uh, enter star on your keyboard and it's going to pop up there so multiply okay so first thing you want to connect this to either A or B, it doesn't matter. I'm going to connect it to A and then connect this multiply node to every uh, other uh, node here where it says UVs. So you want to connect this to all of them. So I have here every texture sample to my UVs. Now this is going to allow me to change this value. And that's uh, what's actually going to give us uh, the different size. So if I say, for example, I make this nine, that's going to multiply whatever this is uh, by 10 or 10, sorry. And the output of that is going to go in here to the actual UVs. And then if we save that and go back here, you can see our sizing has been fixed. So that's great and all, uh, but uh, there's a, a bit of a tiny problem here. Uh, so let's say I press 100. So we should expect this to be really big, right? But if you go back, it's uh, it's the same uh, as it was before. And uh, the reason is you have to save this every time you make a change. So you got to save it. And as you can see, it's applied now. Uh, but saving can be a bit of a hassle. Uh, it can be a bit annoying. So uh, what I want is to be able to control this. Uh, just like I would be able to control this, uh, I guess the scale like this, you know, using the details panel here. And we can definitely do that. And the way we do that is by creating a parameter. So the very first thing you want to do is uh, right click and search up constant. And it's going to be the first one, uh, not constant two vector. We just want regular constant. So you're going to give us a constant va uh, node, which we can specify its value here. And if we plug this in here, uh, it's going to be uh, this because now the value is zero. So we're multiplying this to zero. So if I press one, for example, and we save that, we can go back and it's uh, back to how it was normally. Now the real magic happens when we go back to our constant here and we right click on this and we uh, select here where it says convert to parameter. And you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to call it size. Okay. And now, as you can see here, we have uh, the value. So we can actually increase this and that's going to scale up. And we can save. And it's applied here. But we still have to save it. And uh, again, that's the thing we wanted to avoid in the first place. Uh, so what we're going to do now is go back to your content browser and go to wherever you had your material. In this case, I had it here. You want to right click on your material and go where it says create material instance. You can name that whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it like that. And then control S on that. Now, once you go in here, you're going to see uh, this is a bit different from the actual material window. But what I do want to uh, note is if you go here, you can see global parameters. Uh, look at that, we have our size parameter. And if we actually drag this, you can see that is changing dynamically. That's pretty awesome. Now, let's say I change it here and I save that. You're going to see it hasn't applied here. And the reason for that is, uh, well, first, you actually need to apply this uh, instance to the actual, uh, to whatever you want. 
Uh, so drag this and apply it there. And now if you drag this back, let me resize this real quick. You can actually just drag this and that is going to change on the fly just like that so I can go all the way to zero it's going to invert uh, once it gets to the negative but I can keep doing that and you can play around with that which is very useful for testing to get your uh, actual thing uh, right whatever you want to actually do so save that and just exit so one more thing um, let me duplicate this real quick so this was for a custom material that I have made uh, using the actual material here but let's say for example you for some reason wanted to use a, a pre-made one in the fortnite folder so if you go uh, I think it's materials and fortnite base and tiling you can see there's uh, these uh, tile materials and if uh, I drag this one um, it has the same problem it's a little too big so here's the problem this is a read-only material so I can't just edit it and uh, modify the EV values like I did with uh, with my other custom made material. Uh, but if you right click on this, you can actually see it says create material instance. So go ahead and uh, click that. Uh, it's going to ask you to save it wherever. I'm going to go into my materials and keep it the same. This uh, Coliseum Stone Bricks instance and save it there. Now we go back to here and as you can see we have our um, our material instance so I can go ahead and apply that and then bring this up and that's going to bring this up and you can see here uh, there's a lot of parameters here but the one we're most interested in is this texture coordinate uh, it's number six so you want to enable U and V because remember in our original material the UV values were the one we were modifying and what you can do is what you can get you guess it you can resize it just like that okay now as you can see here this one is stretching uh, it's a little weird um, the issue here is that we should probably match both these up both the U and V so you want to treat them as the your X and your Y coordinate uh, or the actual UVs, um, so that way uh, you get a neat uh, uh, one to one sizing. But if for some reason you want it, uh, this to be great, uh, twice as big as your V, then yeah, you can go ahead and do that uh, for you know whatever purposes. But yeah, that's basically it, and uh, yeah.